two of us have for a while now been talking about catching up and, and going back to what we, we did before over a year ago with Luisa Lloyd in, in having the conversation around, around fatherhood and, and, and all that comes with us as men. And I think right now in the, in the time of Corona and lockdown, there's a lot of things that are coming out. Um, I mean, me as a, as a father who's under lockdown on my own is hard because I'm, you know, away from my kids. But at the same time, there's, there are other issues that, that, that are coming up from reports across the world of the increase in gender based violence during mm -hmm. lockdown, 40 to 50% of, of an increase during this period in, in all, all parts of, of the world. So I suppose maybe as a start, man, how are you doing right now? during our lockdown? I was thinking about this earlier, KK, you know, uh, that I'm doing really well. I'm not working as, as, as uh, smoothly as I thought I would. And usually I like taking time being at home uh, and if I, if I need to work, but I haven't been working as well. But health is good. Uh, yeah. Family is good. We, we 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 great. I was thinking as well about the people who don't have enough space in their homes. You know, uh, that was one thing that we were talking about earlier. And the people who have who don't have a for whatever reason are struggling with mental issues, mm -hmm. with uh, relationship issues, uh, whether it's between the partners or between the parents and the children. So relatively, it's been good because day six, actually it's about day uh, 11 for me. And then for the boy, it's about day nine because he stopped school three days earlier at his school, they said they should stop. Um, so pretty good. I mean, you know, uh, besides that we can't walk uh, and, and uh, Every day, which we were doing, yeah. we, we are we are in good health, and uh, we feel really privileged that you know, even without doing the work or as smoothly as we as I want to, it's yeah. still relatively really good. It's a good time just to be with family. Yeah. yeah, you mentioned a few things there that that maybe we should also just touch on a bit more because right now, um, even leading up to the lockdown, there was a lot of talk around. Um, concerns around gender-based violence, but that is like relationships, tensions between partners, right? But you mentioned um, what can also manifest within a lockdown environment and confined space, which is the relationship between parent and children or child or father and his children or child, right? Let, let's start there. Um, I suppose we take it for granted that we wouldn't see that level of tension rising within a lockdown, the tension of between father and, and children or father and child. And I don't know whether it's advice on how to deal with it, but, but also maybe acknowledging that it does exist and it does manifest when we are literally on top of one another. Absolutely, man. Uh, so it's it's a uh, it's about the space itself, right? That now you are in this space, you have to accommodate each other's bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, and the children at different ages give you different problems, right? The 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 teenagers, uh, older children uh, have their own moods. They are bigger, literally. They fill more space and uh, they might eat and leave the dishes there and then you get mad and sometimes the madness is not only about the dishes so other stuff can mm -hmm. drag in you know you don't you don't do this you just shut yourself in your room if they have a room but if it's a small house it's a you know in a township or a shack or a, even a flat you are you know you they can get mad at, at each other so the old stuff gets dragged up because you're in a confined space, this other body, your body, uh, and you start to see the stuff that you don't see 
when you're away at work and they're away at school. That's the first thing, the confined space itself. Uh, and I should say, if they're younger children uh, and you don't have support, they're crying, they need this, they need that. Uh, it's a different kind of tension, but it's there, it can happen. I mean, children, younger children have their own, have their own demands. Um, I heard the governor of New York, of New York speaking about this, that, you know, under lockdown, I'm getting mad at my dog. I live alone, he says. I get mad at my, my dog. It's because, and I, you know, I laughed. I'm sure other people laughed who were at the press conference. Uh, the, the fact of being with, this, with, the, with the same people, so other people in the same space itself, so the duration, not just the space, the duration of how long you are, that you, hope you can't walk away. Yeah, bring yeah. its own tensions. It's, it's tensions, yeah. and you, suddenly you realize, oh my goodness, I I I don't like this. I don't like the way you chew, uh, and then you have to see <laughs> tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Uh, you think, yeah, uh, yeah, all stuff that you you haven't worked through because you could you could leave. I mean, if you are mm. in the different under different circumstances, you could leave. But now, you know, you have to. It's the day six. We we still have how many days to go? Goodness. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Really? You're on that. On on yeah. that. On on the ability to to leave or the freedom to leave. I suppose, as as fathers or as men, um, we we do have that that tendency of, yeah, no kikwatile. Then I'm 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 walking out. You know, yeah. I'm gonna go around the corner, kilo ya kupopano, whatever it is, right? Yeah. Um, but then now, you are in inverted commas, stuck in your mind, that you're stuck with these people yeah. that you ordinarily would yeah. walk away from. I, I, what, what, what happens to, to us in, in that situation? Or how do we mitigate against our own anger, tensions rising when you still have a whole lot of days to go? I mean, all the the uh, the holes in masculinity show up here, right? Mm -hmm. and, and one of the holes is the, this hole that we always we tend to, as men, more than women, fill with silence, right? You want to work things inside, and when you are stuck with people, you have to talk. You have to talk. At some point, you have to talk. Otherwise. It just gets painful. It's really painful. Mm. Uh, so, and this is where I guess some of us are learning in both uh, the, the, you know, being open to learn as fathers, but also learning mm. from the people around us about, okay, uh, this is how women do this thing, that, that they realize that you, you can't just give the child away. You, you can't, you know, most right? people, you can't just give it away. You have to, you have to find a way to make this work. Uh, yeah. Uh, so my son yesterday, and I understand he did it again today, because they have to learn through Google Hangouts or, uh, and he was saying, oh, I'm so stressed, I can't do this. And then he was crying. Uh, the mother spoke to him and I, and, and I was a little bit uh, negative. I had a neg negative emotion, so I had to speak to him. Say, look, man, things are hard in the world. The the, the best mm. thing is, you can't. Your first go to is not to cry. You got mm. to, you got to fail. You got to do stuff, fail, and then we can help. You can't just start with crying because you're stressed. After a while, he was all right. Uh, he started doing what what he needed to do. And but the point is, even if you're feeling negative emotion, you have to talk. You can't yeah. walk away. And and yeah. women. Uh, the mother was doing that, does that more, much more than me, and would say, "You're hard on the boy, you know." Uh, yeah. you, you gotta, and I can, I, I know absolutely because I, I see in him the stuff that I sometimes don't like in me, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It goes back to what you're saying about yeah. how the, the 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 proximity of the lockdown um, forces you to. A, share that space, but a lot of things come up in that space because now yeah. you're 24-7 with this guy who's reminding you of yourself. Yeah. 
Absolutely, I'll take it. Okay, <laughs> okay. And he tells me sometimes, he says, but you do the same. I say, yeah, yeah, right. I know this. But I'm telling you the stuff that, because I don't like when I do that stuff. So he's aware. Yeah. I mean, children are aware. That, and that because he has the freedom to talk, which I guess uh, we, we, we used to say this. I mean, this, there's no book about this. Even if it was, you have to make, you have to write your own book. You have to write yeah. it. Yeah. So I say to him, yeah, I, I, can, I know that. But I'm trying uh, to tell you, that's the stuff that I'm not quite uh, taken by in me. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then after a while, we smile, we laugh. But you know, we 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 have to keep on working at this thing. That that thing of sulking, of just you know, getting irrit irritable quickly, instead of just sitting with your emotions and and working through things and then coming back. That's that's what I would like. Uh, and you have a chance here to do that because I'm here to yeah. tell you that that stuff I shouldn't have picked up myself.